Hey guys, today we are building a choo-choo. A Christmas choo-choo. It's going to look like Christmas through up all over this train. Now we're taking a diaper box and you, you know the tabs on the inside. We're going to tape those so that closes that off. This is really hard to film. I am so sorry. I did the best I could with because <laughs> this is a big project, okay? So bear with me. Give me some grace as I get through this. Now, some of you know that I, I made my own nutcracker. He's tall. He's probably like four foot. He was made like 98% out of cardboard. And Kathy Jo had a fit when she found out I didn't record it. So I made sure to record this. And I hope you guys like it. I didn't want to go with anything too complicated because I want people to be able to, to redo it if they want. I, if you want to involve your kiddos or your grandkiddos, I wanted that possible as well. So this is a really simple Christmas train, okay? So now what we're about to do is we're going to make that piece that goes on top of the bottom of the train. So I grabbed me another box and we're just getting that cut up and getting my pieces ready. And luckily, you know, it's already squaring itself off, No, so that was cool. So there we go, and all we gotta do is hot glue that on, then I'm gonna secure it even more with some painter's tape. Like I said, I went as easy as I possibly could, so this isn't something very detailed this time, like my Nutcracker, okay? But hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. And I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving tomorrow. We got family coming over, so it should be really nice. I'm really excited for family and some food. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving as well. So, I'm just struggling, you know, to get my painter's tape off. So, I'm what you see, as I'm doing, I'm just securing it even more. Because just with hot glue, that isn't going to be enough. It'll be really flimsy you know and you don't if you don't have painter's tape you can use masking tape you can use um packaging tape whatever tape you have will work just fine i want to thank all my new subscribers all my subscribers who have been here you guys have been rock stars helping my channel grow it's <laughs> it's been amazing to watch this morning i mean I woke up with way more subscribers than I went to bed with, which was really nice. I really appreciate that. So now what we're doing is we're tracing out because we got to close that piece, you know, that goes on the train. We got to make it top. So that's all we're doing. Also, I, I think I need to say if you are new to the channel, you don't know much about me. We have three boys with autism. I know a lot of people enjoy people who have schedules and my video will be out this time and my video, you know what I mean? And I can't do that. Um, I craft as I can and when I have time and I get my videos up as soon as possible. I, I'm not able to make schedules as of now because we're dealing with a lot with our kids. So I hope you guys are okay with that and you can be patient with me. I'm still getting my videos out. It's just I can't say, oh, I'm going to put it out Monday. You know what I mean? So I, I'm sorry about that. But it's the way my life is. But I'm still getting my videos out. Okay? So hopefully you guys can understand that. Now we're taking more of that painter's tape. And we're going to go over the tops to secure that even more. And it'll give us a nice, smooth, smoother surface for painting. On the sides, we're going to be using um, poster board. You can get poster board at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, wherever you want to get it. I think mine came from Dollar Tree. So see what I did? Oh, wait. Actually, I'm about to make my hole from front of my train. I'm sorry. I forgot for that piece. So I'm just tracing out the round part, and then I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and draw my straight line. It's already sitting there, so didn't have to grab my ruler. See? So we're making like an archway. And just so y'all know, my Grinch is going to be the conductor of this train. I'm going to sit it by the Christmas tree so the boys can enjoy it. That was the main reason I wanted to make one, just like the Nutcracker. I can't afford 
expensive decoration. So I've been trying to make my own. So we got that arch in there. Now we're just going to be gentle and cut it out. Oh, wait. I already got my poster board on. I'm a ding dong, y'all. Lord, messes. Gracious. Yeah, it's already on. So all I did was trace out this, you know, trace the sides and put the poster board on. That way we have a clean finish for painting, okay? At least I think I did. Now, we're taking fabric and we're going to wrap our box like a present, okay? I was going to do wrapping paper, the Grinch wrapping paper, and I'm like, nope. Because I know it'll get, like, ripped easily and then it'll just destroy all the hard work I put into this. Because this took hours. The video's at, what, 19 minutes? But it was hours. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So here we go. See? Wrapped like a present. All the pretty little ornaments on there. Oh, okay. Never mind. I lied. See? Here we go. I thought I messed up. I didn't. So I cut out my piece. I traced out my sides. Got my pieces cut. And now we're just going to glue those on. I ended up using hot glue because that bottle was so hard to squeeze. I have carpal tunnel. It wasn't working. It was hurting my hands. So I ended up using glue, uh, my glue gun for the rest of them. And it worked out just fine. And being it's poster board to cardboard, it'll stick and stay for a while. No worries. So we're just going to get all of our sides on. I even got my arch traced out one of the pieces so it goes around the front. See how I just switched the glue? Yeah, my hand was hurting so bad. I was like, nope, nope, this ain't going to work. Some of them bottles are really hard to squeeze. I'm not going to show you all the sides, I promised. I think just that one. And then I'm going to get them all done. I mean, it's so easy, you know, like just showing you one I thought would be just fine. Okay, there we go. And now what we're going to do is take my finger sander and we're going to like go over the um, corners and stuff, the edges, to kind of help smooth that out so it's not so rough looking and sharp. You know what I mean? You got to be gentle. I wouldn't go like crazy hard on poster board, but I wanted a smoother surface from when I paint it. We're going to paint the top. In imperial red. Any red you have is fine. I mean you don't even have to decorate it like I'm decorating it. You do it however you want. Whatever goes with your decor. See here we go. Now we're going to paint it red. I'm not going to show you paint. I mean painting the whole thing I promise. Y'all don't need to sit through all of that. I'm just going to do a little ways down and then I'll switch to something else. I really hope you guys enjoy this. You have to let me know in comments, okay? And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Please share it out if you wouldn't mind. If you're not subscribed yet, I would absolutely love to have you. Yeah, right there, I had like a little lumpity piece, so I was just sanding that down a little bit. Now, this is the biggest thing I could find. I had a cornstarch container, and we're going to paint that with metallic silver. And then we're also making wheels, okay? So right here, I took a plate, and I'm going to trace out some wheels. And those are going to be metallic silver as well. So we're going to trace them and cut them. I don't make you watch all of that. Because this is like super simple, you know what I mean? Like, I think I do four tires, or wheels, not tires. And that's all we need is four. See, we got them already painted for y'all, so you didn't have to sit through all that. It's just metallic silver. You could do black wheels, whatever you want. I just didn't want nothing crazy dark on my train. Like I said, I wanted it. Is full blown Christmas. And I know there's those creases in the cardboard, but I really wasn't too worried about that. Hopefully, you guys aren't either. It's not a big deal to me. 
you know, it's for my kids to look at. And they are really excited about it sitting next to the tree right now. So that's all that matters. So what I'm doing is taking tower tumbling blocks. And I'm going to brace that those on the wheels, but also to the box, okay? So it's going to give it more sturdiness. So when it's standing up, it's not going to just crumble, okay? So that's what I'm doing there. I probably could have added one more in front of those. I might do that just to, just to make sure. But right now, it's standing up just fine. So you got all four on. And now we're going to add the top. I'm hot gluing it on, and then I take extra hot glue and go around the edges as well. Like I said, I am so sorry about angle, but this is really hard to film because it's such a big piece. I mean, it's not crazy big, but you know, it's a bigger piece. So, see how we're going around the edges? But don't worry, all of that's going to be covered up with some um, Baker's Twin. So what is y'all's favorite thing to eat for Thanksgiving? I think mine is green bean casserole. And pie. Yeah, green bean casserole and pie. And ham. Yep, those are my three top three. You'll have to let me know your top three. So there's our cornstarch container that I painted that same silver metallic. Metallic silver. There's hot glue on that on there. And then what I'm doing is just going around the edge with more hot glue. So we're really making sure this is secure. So here's the Baker's Twine, red and white. And we're going to go around all of our edges to decorate it up a little bit. I didn't do too much to the top because the bottom is so busy, you know. So I didn't want to overdo it. So we're just adding the Baker's Twine to the top. And then some garland around the arch. And that's it for the top. And then I squished my poor Grinch into the seat so he could be the conductor. He didn't want to get in there, but I made him go. Y'all see how easy? Well, I feel like this is easy. So this basket I've had forever, and I thought grill. Because you know there's like a grill thing on a train. I was going to mold one out of um, tin foil, but I'm out of tin foil. So I'm cutting some of this off, and this is going to be the grill to our train, okay? It's also going to be a metallic silver. These are gingerbread cutouts that I got off Amazon. For, I've had them for a while. Those are going on our wheels. I thought that would be super cute. I didn't want my wheels too plain, but not too overdone either. So those little cutouts are going to go on our wheels. And then what I do is take my black Sharpie, Sharpie, oh my goodness, Sharpie marker and do dots on the wheels. And there we go, we're dot, dot, dotting away. And you know what? I think I might have forgot to do my other wheels. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. I think I did one, and then I got distracted and forgot. That's okay. I'll go back and put all my dots on the other wheels. I can't remember. Oh, good gracious. It's been a busy morning. See, then I wanted to show you all me putting on my grill, so I think I put that down and then forgot to do the others. But that's okay. I'll make sure they're done. See the grill? We're going to... Add it on there with some hot glue. And then as I was doing that, my husband informed me it needed to be lower to the to the ground. So I made sure to do that too. Because I was trying to raise it up too high, I guess. So I went right at the bottom and stuck it on there. And then I also went around those edges with some more hot glue. I was making sure everything was nice and secure. I really love how this came out. It took a long time, but it was fun. And it's worth it in for me. Now here's that gar that garland I was talking about. We're going to go... See, look. See Grinch's hands? He's already in there. This 
you know, this was like this biggest struggle I had was like, where do I want my little girl to sit? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it took me forever to figure out how I wanted that to sit on there. That we go around the entire arch. And it comes out really cute. I think, I don't know where that came from. I was, that was given to me, but I'm assuming Walmart would have it. I'm trying to give you a little view of everything. See the Grinch? And there's the grill. Now we're taking some rustoleum glitter and we're going to go around the silver piece on the top of the train, the red piece, the wheels, the grill. Those are all getting some shimmer. Now, I know some of y'all have seen me use this like a million times. I love this stuff. If you don't know, I got it from Menards. It's like $27, but that has lasted me a long time. I've had it for months. And here we go. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. I like the little gingerbread men on the wheels, but I really love the Grinch in there. Here we go. The front view of the grill. Not the best grill, but it do. It'll do. Look at the Grinch. He's so happy in his little choo-choo. I hope you guys love this. Thank you so much for being here. And happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.